Yo guys, good morning. It is a very rainy Tuesday morning. God. Uh, it's a good thing I am driving again today. Good thing I'm not taking the bus. Well, today um, I'm just gonna be doing random things. I gotta go to uh, to uh, Walgreens and um, buy myself some shaving cream because <laughs> I ran out. And I wanna talk about watches you know yes this is not a rolex it is what they call a homage uh, this is from a brand name called uh, loreo or loreo but it's a very beautiful watch it is um made in china movement is by siegel very uh very reliable movement a workhorse of a movement actually so um I like the watch so much that I ordered another one uh, and it's in color green just in time for St. Patrick's Day so you know I'll be wearing that on Friday I'm gonna be getting it tomorrow so I'll show you guys what it is and of course knowing me I will be doing some mods to it uh, like with this watch I um, you see the middle links there that used to be um, shiny but now it's brushed because I brushed it with uh, with some scotch guard I don't like that shiny look so I'm gonna do the same thing with that other watch when I get it tomorrow I'll be brushing the bracelet so it can have a brushed look uh, this time I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how I do it with this watch here I didn't really get to to show you guys how I did it so anyway i'm gonna be going off to walgreens so let's go wow the rain makes up for a very nice photography opportunity in the city i wish i had time to take photos but i don't I'm running out of time because I need, still need to get some coffee and I'm uh, can't figure out where I'm going ah, I'm going to Phil's so I'm going this way so just right behind me is the uh, ferry building I'm not gonna go towards that way today uh, I wish I can to go ahead and take some photos but I'm not man that sucks Anyway, maybe uh, maybe sometime next week. But of course, it's not going to be raining. If it does, oh man, that'll, that'll, that'll be great. Next week, I could probably have some time to go ahead and um, take pictures. If it is raining, I will I will definitely grab a hold of that opportunity. But for right now, check it out, guys. It's a very rainy Tuesday morning. Here in San Francisco, very rainy, wet, and cold Tuesday morning. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, I think I see Phil's just around the corner. Oh yeah. All right. That is coming down hard. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not that windy because if it is, oh man, this umbrella would be blowing off right now. Oh man, it's cold. Okay, there goes the wind. Maybe I just spoke too soon. crazy how that happens that's why I love the rain and taking photography in the rain but not today because it's coffee time all right so I'm just gonna be enjoying my coffee right now just over here under a roof
and it is still raining uh, pretty hard outside so I still have some just a little time just to drink this before I head over to the train station and go to work again wow look at that what a beautiful view nice You know, I always wondered if uh, the boots that I bought um, are waterproof. Well, I got my answer today. No, they are not waterproof. And this is by the North Face. Surprising, it's not waterproof. Like my socks are soaking wet inside. You know, when I step, it makes a squishy noise, yeah. Uh, I stepped in a puddle maybe about six to seven inches high. So, you know, whatever. Moving on. All right. Well, guys. Good morning. So today is the day that I'm going to be getting my watch. And um, hopefully I can work on it too as well. Either today or tomorrow. But for right now, I am over here at Seafood City. Because uh, I have the hunkering for some champarado. Uh, not the real one. This is just an instant one. So I'm just going to go inside the store and get myself some of that instant champarados. Before um, you know, I head over to work. Anyway. I'm going to go inside. It never fails. Every time I go inside here, it makes me uh, feel like I'm back in the Philippines in one of their malls. <laughs> I'm starting to miss the Philippines all over again. Maybe I should... Uh, re-release one of my um, my Philippine videos actually you know what it's March 15th uh, we were like on our in our third day in the Philippines three years ago on, on this date so I'll probably wait for another month and then I'll re-release re -release some of those Philippine videos uh, while we were there in April alright I found it no we even got Mongo I'll probably get one of these too. Yeah, I'll get one of these. But this is what I've been looking for. Champorado. Nice. Probably get two of these guys. Do that. And one Mungo. Alright. You only live once, right? Let's go. while being in the Philippines, what were we uh, buying at the grocery stores? We were buying these guys. All kinds of like Filipino chips that we don't have back here in the States. Uh, but now we have them <laughs> over here at Seafood City. So, you know, seeing these guys just making me miss the Philippines, jeez. Oh man, these are good too. These are really good. And you know what I eat almost every day? Let me show you guys. This thing called Boy Bawang. Yeah. So addicting. So crunchy, so garlicky. You just wanna eat it with, with beer. Or eat it while having beer. My God, it's like the best thing ever. The best combination ever. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to check out the food area really quick. So it seems like their street food um, area is still closed. Oh man, I was kind of hoping to get some street food this morning. But in the Philippines, of course, you can get street food at any time of the day. Just walk out of your place and go to like the main streets or the main roads. And you will find a street food vendor. I guarantee it. Any time of the day. Anyway, uh, moving on.
All right, guys, so here is my new watch. It is, again, from L'Oreal. Uh, I just opened it from the Amazon bag. Uh, surprised that it didn't come in the box with any kind of cushioning. It was just really in an Amazon plastic bag with no cushion. Yeah, so I was surprised. I was like, whoa, I hope it doesn't get tossed around. But um, it doesn't look like it has any dents or anything. So, and I'm also glad that this one came in the box. A lot of people, they say that when they receive their, their watch, when they open it up from Amazon, uh, it was really just a, like, a, like a pouch with a, with, a, with a drawstring. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so I'm glad this one came in the box, the case. It was kind of hard to take out this watch from the box, so I kind of had to tear it apart. But um, here it is, and it's all, um, it's, it's uh, wrapped in this little pillow thing there, which I was cool, very nice. And there it is, the L'Oreal um, Submariner homage in a green color, which I really like. Now, of course, it also comes with um, all these docks inside, uh, just a little flyer there. And uh, it comes with this really cool adjustment tool to adjust your links or to take them off. So that's very helpful. You don't need to grab another set of tools to go ahead and make changes to your watch. It's already there. And of course, the user manual um, it comes with it. And there is also a warranty card. Uh, I still have to fill that one out and maybe send it back. Not too sure, but I will be filling it out. All right, so let's talk about this watch. Again, this is the L'Oreal Submariner Homage. This is not a fake Rolex. This is what they call a homage. Now, what is this watch? This is a all stainless steel construction, uh, solid end links, as you can see that there, and the solid links. This can fit up to about eight inches of wrist. Mine is about seven inches, 6.8, whatever. And it has micro adjustments, and these are push pins. You can push out the pins here to adjust the links this has a uh, 40 millimeter diameter 30 millimeters thick 48 millimeters wide lug to lug all right it does have a, uh, a Chinese movement which is the Siegel ST16 movement to me that is a uh, pretty reliable workhorse of a movement um, I know some people have different opinions about it because this is not a, a, a Miyota or this is not a Seiko, this is a Seagull move movement to me. I've owned um, watches with Seagull movement before and uh, they, they, they work properly. Um, I never had a problem with, with, with them. So to me, Seagull move movement is, uh, is good in my books. Now, who is this watch for? Well. Good question. This watch is basically for people who don't want to spend $10,000 on a watch but would like to have an automatic watch. Automatic watch meaning that you don't need, or this watch doesn't need any batteries. All you need to do is uh, either wear it every day yeah, and um, it will charge with your wrist movement or when you swing your arms around, whatever, in your day to day life. Or you can unscrew this um the, the, the screw down crown and you can hand wind it i say turn it for about 15 to 20 times and it will have a power reserve for about 36 hours all right so again this is the l'oreal submariner homage um i wear this watch um or i've been wearing this watch uh, since yesterday so it's uh, it's been working well and I also um, and I also uh, synchronized it to 
the uh, to the clock that's on the iPhone here, and it's uh, it, it's holding up pretty well. It's been uh, 14 hours now, and it's keeping up with the time with my iPhone, second hands and and all. So again, uh, the Seagull move movement is, is a pretty good move movement. So I have no complaints about it. I have a blue one like this. I've been wearing it every day for the past uh, six months now, and it's still working pretty well. Again, this cost me about $120 on Amazon. So not too bad of a watch. All right, now I am getting this watch ready to be uh, brushed or it's bracelets to be brushed because I don't like that shiny part. So what I did right now is that I just put two pieces of a scotch tape on the bezel there so it doesn't get scratched. And I'm gonna take this scotch pad and basically I'm just gonna lightly just scrub it going one direction. So this is how it's gonna look like. So I just finished scrubbing it, again in that one direction, and now that middle part is brushed. You see that? It looks pretty cool. And this is the before shot, or the, on the other side, that, that one's not scrubbed yet, so that's still super shiny. And um, I can't forget about the upper part of the watch. So that one there, that's the hard to reach one, so I just have to go ahead and really um, just be careful on scrubbing it, because that's where the bezel is at. So I'm just, you know, taking my time and making sure that I do scrub that area so it can match with the rest of the bracelet. All right, and now it's time to do the other side so it can match the, uh, the bracelet on the opposite side. Again, just soft downstrokes, just one direction, just taking my time, I'm not in a rush. And you guys will just go ahead and just do the same thing, you know, light pressure, don't put too much pressure on it because you don't want to really get some deep scratches, just light scratches on that bracelet. It will match the outer links. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with me again. And this is the finished product. Um, I will go ahead and um, complete the whole thing actually when I get back home or do it more over the weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the inner links so everything can just match. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me again, guys, uh, and for watching this video. I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.